you're 16, you're just not 17. I got a band of on you, talk to she. I was so ashamed that we sound so bad, but you said there was in here, you got crap. And now it's all gone and there's nothing left, and for the past two years, I've got sad, right? I'm so coming up. I'm glad that you're never there, Bob. That kind of makes me feel good. Now you kept up with the dancing.
thinking that this is the best it's gonna get. Oh, oh, you better get me here before I start thinking this is the best it's gonna get. Oh, oh, I keep smoking on my desk. Every day I'm spaced out, I guess nothing's gonna change. I'm from Alawa. Uh, I play acoustic guitar to get me out of the house. Nice. It's pretty much me. Nice money. You heard much of the bands that are on the night? Uh, I've heard a few of them. I've played in punk bands, so uh, I've known them for different bands. And mm -hmm. I've got to play guitar for some of the older bands. So, so are you still playing in bands and stuff like that, or are you just uh, kind of concentrating on solo I'm stuff? I'm trying to get a band together, but mm -hmm. I can't, so I'll just stick my acoustic colour in. That's perfect, man. You said you were doing a lot of poetry nights and stuff like that as well. Aye. Is it, how are you going on with them? Ah, they're fine. It's just different because when I started playing acoustic guitar, mm. I'm all used to it, acoustic. Uh, I thought then I, I knew about them and they've let me let me go to them. Do that, and it's a total different environment. So I'm getting used to that environment. Mm -hmm. But as well as that, I'm playing the punk gigs as well. So when you're playing the punk gigs and that, I, I need to try and find that. Right, I'm used to playing punk gigs. Mm -hmm. But now I'm playing something completely different, I need to try and fit it both in. Oh, aye, yeah. aye. So I'm trying to figure out a way to do that. Well, we poetry and punk maybe mixed together or something. Mm -hmm. Like, meta original and just do my own thing. Oh, that's cool. Could you talk a wee bit about influences you've got towards your music, no? Eh, uh, Crimp Shine. Right. 15. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Jeff Hall, that's it. Nice one, man. Uh, how did you go on during your set with that guy, kind of shouting and stuff through it, man? How was it? Was that an off-putting thing? Or how did <laughs> I'm, you go? I'm actually used to that. <laughs> but my third ever gig, it was a. I played with the UK subs, and we were only 17 or something. And it was this huge guy. He came out of nowhere. Oh. He was actually here to see bad manners across the street. Right. But he got kicked out. And UK subs were playing on our side at Barfly, so he ended up coming in. And it was my first like proper gig. My mum and dad, well, my dad was there, and uh, this big guy was just jumping about, bouncing the whole time. So I kind of got used to that. That kind of that occurs a lot in the punk gigs. Mm. So playing the punk gigs, you get used to it. And that, you, you got any links you want to add in, like SoundCloud, Bandcamp, and uh, that? Not really. Uh, just budget my goblin. Look up on Google. You'll find me somehow. Sure.